a three-year break, the toast Martin Brown was finally back, with thousands of people from all over New Zealand enjoying the best Sunday ever. First time in Martinborough, which is kind of exciting.、Um, really cool to explore the vineyards.、Um, yeah, being in Wellington, quite a lot of people come up here.、So、like lots of cool places to go and explore. So yeah, really cool to see Martinborough on show. Really. First time at Toast. So so far it's good. Weather's not great, but it's going good. So far it's going good. Yeah. yeah we're enjoying it. It's a lovely spot here. Yeah. yeah、really、Amazing wines. I'm from Martinborough. I live in Martinborough, but my family are here from Christchurch and Wellington and North Canterbury. So our whole family actually get to sit at the table. We can listen to the music and we can come in and out to get the the food. Everybody's happy. Everybody smiles at each other. It's one of the best events in New Zealand. Combining seven festival locations and eight wineries, Toast Martin Brown is a case stop on the classic New Zealand wine trail. So Toast Martin Brown started it in 1992. It's a wine and food festival、uh, with the aim to promote Waterlapa as a premium wine growing region, but also to celebrate the season's new release wines. So each of the different vineyards make sure that they present to the festival. Goers, wine and food that's really, really, really premium. People can go try wine and food and music at each of the individual little vineyards. There's about 8,000 people in town. On top of that, there's another 1,500、uh, service staff who are here to make sure that the event goers have a safe and happy day. Local winemaker Helen Masters still remembers the first toast Martin brought 30 years ago. I worked that first event when I was a university student. From then, it's continued every year, and it changes slightly every year.、Um, some wineries that are, that are here one year、uh, may decide have a break for two years, and another winery will show their wines. So it's really about a community collaboration and getting people to come and enjoy the collective of Martinborough and seeing how how close everything is to each other. You can actually walk from one winery to the next. Masters won Gourmet Traveller Winemaker of the Year 2019. This year, she offers something different in the Liu Tasting Room. We're offering a selection of aged wines. So normally, the wines that are shown at Toast Martin Bar are new release wines,、uh, but we've got six wines from our cellar, so that you're able to try wines that have got some age. So our 17 Craig Hall,、um, some older Celeb. Uh, and these wines are really, really great matches with food. So,、um, all about that experience of food and wine together. Among the crowds were winemakers from other regions, keen to explore more about wine. So I'm a winemaker from、uh, Nelson, and it's always nice to、uh, see a different region. I, I've heard that、um, Toast Martin is one of the one of the places to go to. It's just nice to be here, away from home, away from the work, and enjoying、um, some nice wine. Apart from wine tasting, Toast Martin Brown offered outstanding food and live music to create a fun, relaxed vibe. Four of us girls are playing a girls' weekend away, and it's been really good, actually. We've been to three wineries so far. We haven't quite made it to Luna, but I'm really looking forward to Luna. But we've had to, we just went to Vinfields and that was really lovely. They had dumplings and pork buns and beautiful wine. So that's probably my favourite place so far. The people have been really good. We've met some really awesome couples who are quite interested in wine as well. So we've had a good chat with them. We're actually going to catch up with them in Wellington, which is awesome. I think it's just nice to be around like-minded people、um, that really enjoy their wine. So it's been really nice. While the crowds enjoyed the fantastic Sunday, it was also a significant contribution for Wairarapa's hospitality sector and the local economy. This is an iconic event that. 
highlight something that we're really good at um, in the region in terms of production. But from a tourism perspective, there are thousands of people who come to the region to enjoy this event today. And generally they'll come on a Friday and probably leave on a Monday morning. And that has a huge economic impact on our region. It's just not the vineyards that are affected. It's the other support services around it, the people who are providing the food, it's the accommodation providers, Transit, who is the major sponsor in terms of transport. And it affects everyone in all the small towns, the five small towns throughout the region, because people are staying throughout the region and experiencing all that is great here in the region. After the covert hiatus, Toast Martin Brown was a great success. Hopefully the next one will not be in four years' time. All the events in the Wadalapa, in fact in all of New Zealand, have been hit very hard the last two years. It's been a really challenging environment for them and I think for most events that are happening, they really are just keen to get their first one back under their belts. Uh, a lot of people have left the industry. Um, we are struggling with staff as well, and uh, that's throughout the country. So what's important is just getting these events back up and going. We've got a number of iconic events in this region. We do events exceptionally well, and this year is really just re-establishing our place, getting them up and going, and then in the future we can continue to grow and develop them as, as we want to. Jay Pong, no call, focus.